Now I'm going to attach a piece of head leader uh, to a full coat, magnetic full coat. And it's already been cut on the diagonal. And now I'm going to cut the leader on the diagonal also. Let's try once more. <laughs> I'm going to attach a leader now to the head of a piece of magnetic film and notice that it has already been cut on the diagonal. And I'm going to continue that practice, though it is not necessary to do it, at the head of a roll of magnetic stock because there's no sound there. However, cutting it on a diagonal may reduce the wear and tear on the, the sound pickup, so I'm going to continue the practice of cutting on the diagonal. Often I forget to secure the end of the unperforated tape at the side of the splicer as I'm doing now. And then when I go to get a new piece of tape to pull it across, it has reattached itself to the roll and is very difficult to get off. Punch out the sprocket holes. Notice the dull side of the leader goes up and the shiny side goes down to again, uh, reduce abrasion on the uh, uh, sound heads. And now I can roll up my piece of stock with its attached leader and it is ready to use in the dubber recorder. Again, Make sure that when you tight wind a piece of stock or magnetic material, it is truly tight wound. And the hold down tape goes on the end with the folded over section on the loose end of the core.